Hey guys, Leland from Wreckers Reptiles. Hey, in this video, I wanted to go over um, some common things that are thrown out there in the reptile community about um, ball pythons, that they don't swim, that they don't climb, that they're just subterranean species, they just live under the ground uh, and on the earth, and that if you do anything else with your ball python, you're, you're an idiot and you're abusing it. So I just wanted to uh, cover some of these topics and show you how uh, uh, my snake is able to swim and um, what we did to, to get to that point where we were able to do this. So anyhow, stay with us. This is going to be a controversial topic and we'll get into it. So today's video is just kind of going to be more of a, like a like a, a blog. I had some uh, internet trolls going hard on me over the last few days, so I wanted to explain in my words and let everybody know I'm not abusing animals over here. Uh, we've been living here at this house for about eight years. Uh, we have a pool, um, so the uh, the chemicals in the pool were finally uh, low enough because the salt cell's not working on the uh, pool equipment right now. So it's not producing chlorine and it's uh, too cold at night anyhow. So then bacteria and all this stuff can't grow in the pool. So there's no algae and the swimming pool is painted blue. So I did a chemical test on the pool, no chlorine in the, in this pool. It's like just water, just gross water, but water, um, water I wouldn't want to drink, but I'm okay to swim in it. Um, so anyhow, uh, we had, my big snake out, one of my big girls, uh, Phyllis, we take her out in the sun. We sun our, our big snakes, all of our, you know, any snake that I have, I will bring it into the sun. And I think uh, some of the natural light is probably a good thing to have on these animals. Um, I don't have any scientific uh, thing to back that up, but um, I do think that, you know, during the day they want to be sleeping, yes. But I do think they could benefit for some, from some of the natural rays, whether it's just to enrich the animal's life or to just give it something else to look at besides the inside of this tub, I think it's a good thing. So anyhow, that's what I do. I take my animals outside. Ooh, okay. So that also is a problem for a lot of people apparently. But um, in this case, I had no chemicals in my pool. I heated the pool all day long till it was about four, four o'clock when we did this. So the pool was about 85 degrees, so it felt great. Um, so, I don't know if you know the difference of how a snake looks when it's stressed versus how just a normal swimming snake looks because a lot of people don't get to see that. Um, so the snake in this video, the way it's swimming is just a normal way a snake swims. But when a snake is stressed and it's in a position where it can't get out, I have seen a snake go up under a lip of a pool and not be able to get out. And its tail is doing this and it's actually throwing white water and just massive amounts of spray at the back of it and that is a stressed snake yes i've seen that that is horrible i would never want to have my snakes be in that situation so i had people in the pool my daughters five feet across from each other to make sure that when the snake stopped it wouldn't sink because they are heavy animals and she didn't sink anyhow um, because we didn't let her stop but uh everything went perfect we just let her swim across and across back get her out of the pool no big deal we'll probably never do it again in eight years, it was the only time we ever did this with actually uh, Jim and Phyllis. We had them both out and I wanted to see if Jim would react the same way as Phyllis did. And actually Jim didn't react the same way as Phyllis. Jim uh, kind of sank down under the water, looked around, analyzed the situation for a little bit and then started to swim and came out fine. Wasn't thrashing or anything crazy like that. Both of the snakes are fine a few days later. Uh, nothing happened with them with swimming in this pool. So, but the, the amount of people that absolutely just shredded me on TikTok that didn't have animals, or if they did have animals, they had mites and issues with their animals or, you know, respiratory infections in their their collections. As I went back and looked at their, how they kept their animals as they were trashing me for the three minute swim in regular water in a pool that was heated and controlled environment. So uh, it was really out of control, all, all those people, the way they reacted. But I did have some interesting information to share with you guys uh, about um, Rob from Royal Balls. Uh, he has an awesome video that just dropped. Hold on one second. 
I just wanted to make sure I was getting uh, Rob's name correct. It is uh, Royal Balls um, on YouTube. Click on it. He's got uh, a video he dropped on here about uh, breeding ball pythons, sexual dimorphism. I have uh, something over it right now, so I can't see. So anyhow, I can't I can't see the whole title, but anyhow, it's the last video he did. And if you go on my Instagram, it's on my story. You can click on the link. Uh, but anyhow, check that out. It's a study that they did on ball pythons in Africa that were probably like you know adult males, so they they weren't even that big. Um, and then adult females and what they ate, and they checked their stomach contents and they looked through their poo, and they could basically tell that these uh, young young adults were. Uh, eating mostly birds, like 70% of them were just birds. That's all they were eating. So the species that everybody's thinking is just eating uh, rodents down in termite mounds, you know, because so many people have said this, and they do probably in one of the regions, but there's so many regions in Africa, and it's a diverse um, ecological system over there that, that says at one point that's so wet and rainy for five months that the snakes actually have to swim because I'm sure it gets flooded in those areas. So what are they going to do? They're, they're not going to just lay there. They swim. So, and that's just save their lives. Just like anything you throw anything in my pool, it's going to start swimming. Right? So, uh, anyhow, I just thought I would, uh, point you to, to Rob's video. It was an awesome video that he did today. And it really opened my eyes to what they're eating, where they're living, how they're living, what they're doing. Um, because from everything that I had been watching uh, over the years, uh, I was just thinking it's just termite mounds, living underground, and eating whatever goes by, little rodents here and there. So it really opened my eyes. I uh, just thought you guys might like to check it out. I'll post the swimming video after this, um, but really, I'm not harming my snakes, so don't post up all those stupid comments. There's almost no chemicals in the pool right now. I, I got it down to nothing. Her Just do like one more, crazy. give her one more uh, lap. And I'll send her, send her over okay, go. Just let go. Go, Phyllis. She's so fast. Oh. 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 All right, that's enough. <laughs>